So get ready for a Saturday night special in Big D, Dallas, Texas. Don't they do everything bigger in Texas? I'll find out tonight. Dallas Cowboys, the NFC East champions, and the fourth seed in the NFC taking on the NFC West, Seattle Seahawks, the fifth seed. So the four versus five, both teams sport a 10 and six record, and both teams sport great running attacks. In fact, Seattle, the number one rushing team in the National Football League, while the Dallas Cowboys have the top rusher in the NFL, the number one guy, Ezekiel Elliott, over 1,400 yards rushing. He can also catch the ball over 500 yards receiving. Seattle, meanwhile, the overall top-ranked team rushing the football in the NFL. And they sport what I would say. It's usually a three-headed monster. But get this. It's a four-headed monster. you got this guy, Chris Carson, bulldozer of a running back. 1,151 yards right behind him. You've got Mike Davis, 519. Rashard Penny, the top first-round pick. And the guy who's supposed to be a stud this year, just over 400 yards. And Russell Wilson, almost 400 yards. The quarterback, 376 yards of rushing offense for him on the season. By the way, Wilson, also 22 touchdown passes, 9 interceptions. He knows plenty about winning. Career mark in the playoffs, 8-6. and six. In fact, Dak Prescott is in his third year as being a starter in the NFL. Russell Wilson, through his through his first three years, was the all-time winningest quarterback with 36 wins. Prescott, not too shabby. Right behind him, he has uh, 32 wins, ties for fifth. Also, like Wilson, similar passing numbers, 22 TDs to nine interceptions. By the way, how about this 22nd one, the last of the season last week? Look at this play. Killed the Giants, and I'm a Giants fan. Ouch, 36-35. Dallas would rally to win that football game. Now, Dallas started the season 3-5. and five. In week 3, they lost to Seattle. Three turnovers in the Pacific Northwest in front of the 12th man. What great fans in a great city, right? The Emerald City, Seattle. Thumbs up. I love that place. Uh, meanwhile, Dallas would clamor to the 3-5 first half start. They'd go on a streak. Amari, Amari Cooper came over for the Raiders, turned it up a notch. Has been great overall with Dallas. Been fantastic. Uh, they would win seven of their final eight. Seahawks 0-2 until beating Dallas in week three. Uh, they've been hot of late in route to their 10-6 and six season. They've won four of their last five. All time, these two teams know each other well, don't they? Dallas leads the all-time series 10-9. They've played 13 times in the last 18 years. The most famous meeting no doubt about it. And for a Giants fan, this one is oh so sweet. Take a look. Tony Romo botching the potential game-winning field goal in the 2006 wildcard matchup. Dallas loses 21-20. to Seattle, by the way, since that victory has won six straight wildcard matchups, only to lose all six of the following games in the divisional round. Hmm. Go figure. Point spread tonight. Two and a half point. Dallas favorite. Interesting. Who do I like on the point spread? Take a look. I think Dallas wins this one handily. I'll take the Cowboys 27 to 17. Should be a fun matchup tonight. Just for the record, both teams pretty good defenses as well. Not quite the legion of boom we all have grown to love under Pete Carroll's guidance in Seattle. But they're built around a great linebacker. You can watch Bobby Wagner all over the field tonight. You'll hear the, hear the announcer's name keep on saying tackle Wagner because the guy is an all-pro and he's great. Dallas, uh, by the way, as Seattle's at 16th ranked defense, Dallas has the seventh ranked defense in the National Football League, and they can certainly turn things on on the defensive side of the ball. Should be a fun one tonight. Again, I'll take Dallas by 10 to cover against the Seattle Seahawks. I think you can celebrate in Big D.